Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about my game plan before NGS version 2 kicks in on June 7th. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to get out of the way is, yes, I am currently on the free to play account, as you can see right here, premium expiration, not used. So I've never had premium on this account. And the main reason why I want to focus on the free to play account is because there's a lot more preparation needed on a free to play account versus a premium account. The reason for this is because as a premium member, you do have a chance of obtaining these end augmentation item protections through the treasure shop, through the SG treasure shop specifically. However, as a free to play player, you do not have access to these augment item protections unless you're willing to trade in 40 of these SG scratch items which you can see over here if I were to select this one I can exchange my SG recycle badges to get one of these protections however it's going to cost a whopping 40 of these recycle badges on my free to play account I only have 61 NSG recycle badges since I am limited in my resources such as SG as well as the free to play scratch which means that I do get these recycle badges a lot slower versus a premium account so why does this mean that I need to spend more time on the free to play account versus the premium account? Well, the main reason is because of the Mastery 3 farm. Right now with the limited time quest chaos suppression operation, you have an extremely high chance to obtain Mastery 3s. It's about a 50% chance that you will obtain a Mastery 3 every single run, which is extremely good. It is much better than regular Mastery farming. If you guys have ever done normal Mastery farming through combat zones, you know the pain and suffering that you have to go through. So running the LDQ is much more efficient because not only are you obtaining a bunch of Mastery 3 capsules, you're getting all the seasonal points that you're going to need in order to buy out all of the Defi capsules, which will allow you to complete the dual quest as a free to play player without spending any Macedo, which is absolutely amazing. However, on top of that, if you don't care about the Defi capsules or dual quest altogether, there's still a lot of very valuable items to pick up, such as Mastery 4 over here. You've got all of your Gigas capsules, which I highly, highly, highly recommend that everyone pick them up you've got all of your soul capsule fours you've got your dread keeper fours as well as a bunch of alpha reactors there's a lot of stuff to pick up in this seasonal shop so you're going to need to farm a ton of seasonal points i really urge everyone to take advantage of this and please buy all the essentials out of the seasonal shop especially if you're free to play you know 250 alpha reactors is nothing to sneeze out that is a substantial amount of meseta however after farming all of your mastery threes as well as getting all your different soul capsules as well as gigas capsules please do not upgrade anything if you go over here to capsule exchange over here you can see that we can craft gigas stat threes now with version 2 rolling in i am expecting that we're going to be able to craft level 4 capsules for our gigas capsules dreadkeeper all of the other ones but the reason why i don't want you guys to waste your capsules right now on crafting is because look at gigas might 3 you can use 10 gigas might ones to craft one gigas might 3 or you can use four gigas might twos so this system might be implemented to all of our future capsules when we can craft level fours so you don't want to waste any of your lower level capsules right now on crafting until the new crafting system kicks in in ngs version 2. now at the moment when we look at our mastery fours it does cost 10 mastery threes as well as a bunch of resources and i'm assuming when mastery five kicks in it's going to be 10 mastery four capsules as well as 40 photon quartz as well as 40 tetracite so you really want to start farming up your minerals well it just so happens that the limited time quest every single run is going to give you two to three of each of these minerals monotite dual type trinite photon chunks photon quartz as well as tetracite you are getting all of these materials right here i don't know if you get pentalite i don't think you get pentalite but i'm pretty sure that you get everything down to tetracite but that is a lot of minerals and on top of that you're not time gated because you're able to farm all of these minerals by just running the ltq so you're killing multiple birds with one stone by running the limited time quest first of all you're getting a ton of mastery three capsules again i do not recommend upgrading your mastery three capitals to mastery four yet just hoard all of your mastery three capitals and just sit on it for now wait until the new crafting system kicks in on june 7th and then see if there's any discounts because there might be discounts maybe it'll only cost 10 
and Mastery 3s in order to craft Mastery 5, which would be freaking amazing. So just wait and see, okay? However, other than the Mastery Capsules, we are also farming a ton of Seasonal Points, which are needed in order to clear out the Seasonal Shop. So that is another win. And on top of all of this, you're getting a bunch of Minerals, which are going to be needed when you start upgrading and enhancing your gear later down the line, especially when our level cap increases and we get new gear. So it's very, very important that we start saving up everything and we start preparing everything so that the moment version 2 kicks in, once we get that new shiny piece of gear, we can immediately max it out and benefit from all of the power boosts that it gives us. Now, since you're going to be running the limited time quest so much, I highly recommend that you actually use the seasonal weapon. The reason for this is because all of the mobs in the limited time quest are of the dark element, which means dark exploit 2 over here, which gives you 4.5% against enemies weak to dark will kick into all the enemies, including the last boss. And on top of that, they are all seasonal enemies, which means that you gain the whopping 20% critical hit rate. This is massive. You please, please, please do not underestimate the power of critical hit rate. Being able to crit increases your damage significantly. So even though this weapon might not have the highest attack stat, but just based on the fact that you're getting 9.5% potency from these two augments alone, and on top of that, you're getting the 20% critical hit rate, so you're critting a lot more often, makes the seasonal weapon better than 99% of all of the Neo A weapons that you guys have when you're farming this limited time quest. So unless you have a fully maxed out Neo A weapon with HAL Finale, Fix of Fatal 4 or above, then please consider using the seasonal weapon because the seasonal weapon is extremely, extremely powerful and will allow you to clear the limited time quest a lot faster than normal simply because you're using the right weapon for the job. And last but not least, if farming for all of these things don't interest you and you just care about Meseta, something that you can consider is start hoarding up a ton of Mastery 3 capsules via farming, hold on until NGS version 2 comes in, and you're going to see the Mastery 4 prices skyrocket. At the moment, it's only worth 200000 on chip 4, however, the prices are going to skyrocket the moment Mastery 5 comes out, because that is going to be the new best in slot, everyone's going to want to craft the Mastery 5 capsules, and well, that's going to cost a lot of resources, so if you've been hoarding up a ton of Mastery 3 capsules, and let's say that it only costs 10 Mastery 3 capsules to craft a Mastery 5 capsule, then you could upgrade all of these capsules and to Mastery 5, sell them on the market and make a killing. So it might be a good time to spend some time to farm all of these capsules so the moment that the demand goes up, you have the supply ready and you make a killing and you cash out. Because remember, as a free-to-play player, you are very, very reliant on your personal shop use three days. If you don't have this, well, you can't sell any of your items. So you really need to pick your battles and snipe those perfect opportunities when they happen. And it just so happens that whenever there is new gear, a level cap increase, there's a ton of people who are willing to spend their hard-earned Masetta in order to get the best in slot on day one. And that is where you are going to be making the killing. But you need to make sure that you are prepared for that so that you actually have the resources that the people are willing to pay for in order to make that money. So that's my game plan for the next two weeks. I am literally just going to be spamming the limited time quest over and over and over, whether it be on ship 2 or ship 4. However, I do believe I'm going to be spending a lot more time on ship 4 because she needs a lot more preparation versus ship 2. I have a ton of those augmentation protections on ship 2, which means I can afford to gamble for those augments and it's not going to hurt as much even if they fail versus my ship 4 character I don't have any of those augmentation protections so I'm going to need 10 of each capsule in order to get the guaranteed and I think I'm actually going to be doing that on ship 4 because uh, I just don't want to gamble because you guys know my luck when it comes to augmentation. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.